Hello. In this video clip, we will use a few examples to show how to calculate the productivity. As we have learned, productivity is defined as the ratio of output divided by input. Depends on what we are trying to study, this measure can be a partial measure where we only consider a single input in the calculation. It can be labor, capital, or material. This measure can also be a multi-factor measure where multiple inputs are considered in the calculation. It can be labor plus machine or labor plus capital plus energy. Or we need to calculate all input in the calculation if we want to get the total productivity measures. Let's take a look at some examples. The first one, a company that processes fruit and vegetables is able to produce 400 cases of canned peaches in one half hour with four workers. What is labor productivity? Here it states clearly that labor productivity is what we need to calculate. So this is a partial productivity. And with the definition, the productivity is defined as output divided by labor input. Now the output is given here as the 400 cases of canned pitch produced during the time period. We only need to figure out what is the labor input. So for the labor, some people may think, well, we have four workers. Should I just use 400 divided by four and get 100? Now, if that is the calculation you used, then you miss a very important factor, which is how many hours a worker had spent to produce this output. So this factor will make the calculation inaccurate if we don't consider it in the calculation. So generally speaking, when we talk about labor input, we always use what we call labor hour as a measure, which is that how many hours labor has spent on the production. So for this problem, we have four workers and they worked half hour. So the total labor input or the labor hour will be 0.5 times four, which gave us a two labor hour. And eventually we get the productivity as 400 divided by two give us 200. And in this example, the measure of the productivity is cases per labor hour, which means this productivity is 200 cases per labor hour, which means if we spend one labor hour on this product, we can produce or generate 200 cases. So this measure unit varies from one calculation to another one, depend on what we used to calculate the productivity. Next example, a wrapping paper company produced 2,000 rolls of paper one day. The labor cost was 160, material cost was $50, and the overhead was $320. Determine the multi-factor productivity. Now, multi-factor productivity is the one we need to calculate. And the problem gives us the labor cost, material cost, and overhead. So these are the three inputs we need to include it in the multi-factor productivity. So the calculation is productivity equals to output divided by the sum of labor cost, material cost, and overhead. So the calculation is straightforward. It is 2,000, which is 
the output, 2,000 rows of paper, they produce one day. And the denominator is the sum of labor cost, material cost, and overhead cost, which are given in the question. So finally, we got 3.77 as our productivity. Now, this 3.77 is not the exact result. We actually round it up as 3.77. So in the future, if it is not specially required, we always round up the result and keep two digits after the decimal point, which will be enough for our problem. The last example, here we need to calculate the multi-factor productivity measure for an eight-hour day in which the useful output was 300 units produced by three workers who use 600 pounds of materials. Workers have an hourly wage of $20 and the material cost is $1 per pound. Overhead is 1.5 times labor cost. Now, the first thing I want you to remember is the question actually said the usable output was 300 units. Well, this actually is something we need to keep in mind. When we calculate the productivity, the output should be the usable output, or what do we say, qualified output. Well, if you produce 100 units and all of them are defected, which means we cannot use it, that means your output actually is zero because we should only consider the usable output. That will be considered as part of the productivity. If none of our production can be used, then we don't have anything to deliver to the customer. So the productivity will be zero because the output will be zero. Now for this question, it is multi-factor productivity and we have labor, material, and overhead as the input to consider. But not like previous example, the cost of labor, material, and overhead are not given directly. Actually, we only have the information of this cost. Now, some of you may think, well, in the first example, we said labor hour is always the measure we use to measure the labor. But why here we cannot use, well, 8 times 3? Now, when we calculate the multi-factor productivity, for a lot of time, the different inputs may have totally different measurement unit. For example, labor, we use labor hour, material, we may use weight or volume. But if we don't unify the measurement, then there may not be physical meaning if we add them up. For example, uh, 20 labor hour plus 200 pounds raw material. What does that mean? Or can we add up 20 labor hour with the 200 pounds raw material? So to calculate the multi-factor productivity, we always need to unify the measure for each input. And the dollar amount is the general measure we use. So here, we need to calculate the cost of labor, material, and overhead we used during the day to produce this 300 units usable output. So for the first part, the labor hour, the calculation is 3 times 8 times 20, because it mentioned, well, it is an 8-hour day, which means every worker worked 8 hours. And to produce this, uh, this usable output, we have 3 workers. And the pay for these workers is $20 per hour. So 3 workers 
each of them work work the eight hours and each hour they are paid twenty dollars so the total cost to produce this usable output is three times eight times twenty this will be the total labor cost similarly the material cost will be 600 pounds times the one dollar per pound material cost the last one is overhead it mentions overhead is 1.5 times labor cost so in the calculation actually we calculated the labor cost first and then multiplied by this 1.5 to get the overhead which is 720 dollars and by the end we calculated the whole thing and get the multi-factor productivity for this problem as 0.17 and for this problem it is 0.17 units per dollar input